What are you looking for? Uh, animation. Digital product design is getting really dynamic. With things like Humane's AI pin and Ray-Ban's Meta Glasses launching, we're really starting to see how UX and UI design is going far beyond just our laptop and mobile screens. The need for UX and UI designers to create things like connected software and hardware experiences that integrate with AI and APIs is becoming more and more common. So how can we go beyond just static screen-to-screen -screen flows in Figma? Well, that's where ProtoPie comes in. If Figma is the place that we do all of our pixel-perfect UI designs and basic interactions, then ProtoPie is where we can push those designs further by using things like conditions, triggers, gestures, and formulas that mimic innovative interactive designs on different mediums so that we can see how they look and behave in the real world without needing to code them first. So let's say I wanted to use real data from a third-party service in my prototype, like something from Instagram or Spotify or even ChatGPT. Well, I can do that. All I need to do is use ProtoPie's real data and API connections to create something like this. I made this design in Figma, and then I connected the API using the ProtoPie Connect plugin, and now I can ask it anything I want. And this will actually pull in the information from OpenAI's API. This is a robotic arm controlled by ProtoPie. Using the ProtoPie Connect app and plugins like the Arduino robotic arm plugin, we can do things like tell a Pi to receive and send interactions to the hardware or to use a controller to test something. To create something like this, you're going to need ProtoPie's Connect app. So over here in ProtoPie Connect, you can go to the plugins and then you'll find Arduino here, and then you can run that and follow along with the tutorial, and you'll be able to connect all sorts of different Arduino-supported hardware to ProtoPie. Many medical devices have to go through approval of their prototypes like this in order to even move on to the next stage of development. And these are just things that you can't do in Figma. You can design and test a real car dashboard with multiple displays, real physical controls, real in-car data, flexible integrations, and voice assistance. If you wanna create in-car experiences like this and UX for vehicles, then you're gonna need a few extra things. One is that you're going to need to connect to your car's OBD, which is your car's onboard diagnostics computer system. And for that, you'll need something like this OBD scanner. This is a Bluetooth scanner that you can purchase and then connect up to your car. And then you'll be able to tap into your vehicle and actually create these experiences using ProtoPie Connect and a bridge app to do that. There is a bridge app here that you can run and that is another part of it along with ProtoPie Connect. And again, links for all of these things will be in the description below. And then from there, you're gonna need some kind of a tablet so that you can view that in dashboard experience. So you'll have your ProtoPie player on the iPad, you'll have your ProtoPie Connect and bridge on your computer, and then you'll have that OBD scanner. And then you'll get to monitor things and create something just like this. So again, these are are some really complex prototypes that have a lot of moving parts. And this is exactly how some of the biggest car companies are using ProtoPie to test their prototypes. You can also create some really fun gaming experiences like this one by Nicolas Del Royale. This is a ProtoPie that you can test out yourself. All of the links to these things will be in the description and there'll be a full blog write up on designerup.co for lots of deep dive resources and tutorials on how exactly to make things like this. But this one's so fun, although I'm terribly bad at it, you've got to make this adorable little unicorn jump over the carrots. And oh yeah, I think I got it. No, no, I didn't get it. Harder than it looks, but so much fun. So ProtoPie has an amazing course for creating mobile games like this hyper casual game with ProtoPie. And you can check this out and download the actual design assets. So first the design files for Figma and then the assets for ProtoPie. And then you can go through and duplicate these. And then you're going to use the ProtoPie plugin to connect ProtoPie to Figma. And then once you have all of those assets set up inside of Figma, you can jump into ProtoPie and start adding all of your triggers and conditions and variables. This tutorial goes 
in great depth about how to use scaling so that things feel very fluid and the movements are really smooth. So some of the newest features to ProtoPie are what makes these otherwise impossible prototypes possible and combining them is where a lot of the magic is. For example, multi-device and cross-device interactions. So this is mimicking a Netflix-like TV streaming service and you can try this pie out for yourself. And now inside ProtoPie, you're gonna see there are just four main screens or scenes and it's the initial start screen there's some audio here for starting the search and completing the search and then there's your results screen it's going to load up the category that you reply with and then the landing page for the main video that you select. And then finally, it's going to start playing that video. And so over here, you can see a voice start, then the voice listens and the voice responds on this screen. And then you can add in what the uh, voice command will ask and what it will say here in this content text area. And then over here, you can see that it starts, there's some movement here, it detects something and then it brings in all of these options for you to press. And now these conditions um, tell us that we're going to use our controller or our keyboard or whatever it is to select one of those options that it provides us. And then on the landing page, we can click play and that's gonna jump to the next screen, which is a video that is playing. So here we are in ProtoPie Studio and we're going to preview this prototype. And so I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard to trigger voice activation. What are you looking for? Uh, animation. And now it's loading my options up. Which animation movie do you like? And then we can use our arrow keys to flick through these, or you can hook it up to an actual television remote and then use the ProtoPie Connect to actually hook it up to your television and test this all out using a remote control. And so I'm gonna select ProtoPie and then I can play this. And this is another amazing example of one of their new features, which is media URL support and media responses. So that means that I can have my own self-hosted library of content and I can have ProtoPie use that content to dynamically pull it into my ProtoPies when users are testing this. I love it. You can also make use of the new date and time functions, and this opens up the door to making dynamic prototypes that have calendars and calculators and counters and anything that uses numbers. And transparent video support has been added, so now you can get that 3D effect with your videos by removing the background and adding other things to it. And something like this is pretty easy to create. All you have to do is add a scene and then a video layer and an image layer. And then I'm adding a move trigger to this background image and I'm making it move in the opposite direction of the car. And then I'm setting things like the duration and the easing of how smooth the animation goes. And then I drop in my transparent video and then I can preview it and it looks something like this when we run it. So you might be wondering, what's the actual workflow and the steps for creating things like this? Well, I have another tutorial linked in the description all about creating these advanced protopies step-by-step. Step. But to get started, you'll need to get into the protopie ecosystem, and there are a few parts to that. First, we have the protopie Studio app, and you can download that for free. I'll leave a link in the description. And then you'll need a protopie plan. There are free plans, but you can unlock all of the features on a pro plan or an enterprise plan, and there is a huge discount waiting for you in the description using code DESIGNERUP. You'll also benefit from using the plugin for your design software, there is one for Figma, Sketch, and Adobe. That way you can easily import your designs into ProtoPie and go back and forth between the two. Next up, we have the ProtoPie Player app. All you need to do is download the app onto your device. Then when you're inside of ProtoPie Studio, click on the device icon, scan that QR code from the app on your device, and now you can interact with it like a real app. Then ProtoPie Cloud allows you to store your pies on the cloud. You can also store them locally and then use them from there. But if you wanna share them with teammates and have them inside of a collaborative library, then ProtoPie Cloud is what you'll need for that. The next thing you're gonna need is ProtoPie Connect, and that's if you want to be able to connect to hardware and other devices. Once you're in ProtoPie Connect app, you'll be able to browse through all of the available plugins for the 
different hardware that you want to use. And finally, once you have all of that set up, you're definitely going to want to check out Protopie School because it is full of free courses, free source files, and playgrounds and tutorials so that you don't have to start from scratch. You can jump into these files right away and start exploring them and working with them. And I definitely recommend joining the Proto Pioneers community because it is very active with awesome people always looking to help you out with whatever project you're working on. So to check out more of a step-by-step -step tutorial, watch this next.